he used to say about there's a comedy about the Cornishman. Down every mine, down the bottom of every mine is a Cornishman. Down the bottom of every hole, there used to be 22 RB years ago. Rustin Bucyrus made 40,000 machines altogether from 18 from the 1870s to 1990 when Dallas Swanee. and um, 10,000 of those, over 10,000, was 22 RBs. I mean, that's a 30-ton machine. Over 10,000 of those, that's an awful lot of parts, an awful lot of machinery, an awful lot of labour. It's, as far as we know, it's the first machine ever sold by Rustin Bucyrus in 1930. So it's a real, real piece of history. It's in a state now, but she runs, she'll still run. She'll do, still dig a big hole if she wanted to, but um, obviously she doesn't look much at the minute. The experience we've got, the volunteers we've got, the job like this, it's meat, drink and a good stiff gin at the end of it as well, you know. When I was in the spares in the 1970s, when the place was still really motoring, I covered um, England from the Humber to, to Berwick-on-Tweed, and then South Africa, France and the North Sea on the end of a telephone, which could be interesting. When I rang um, Northumberland, the, all the collieries up the northeast as well, for goodness sake, quote me the partner but I could understand his bunny lad at the end of the sentence. <laughs> oh, it's great fun though, but I mean, very... We sent a lorry down to Heathrow every night at four o'clock. It was a big operation then, and spares were turning over 30 million pound, and 90% of that stopped in Lincoln. It was money made in Lincoln, generated in Lincoln. It's not money moving through, like Tesco's or whatever it is. It was money for town. And then now, of course, all left is bits of rusting metal and memories, which at times, you know, I really gets me just here, you know.